This is the LG Shine for AT&T. The Shine is a slider phone that brings 3G to the table. Let's take a quick tour to see what the Shine offers. The first thing you notice about the Shine is that it has a fairly generous sized screen on the front that is surrounded by shiny metal surfaces. The metal surfaces are actually brushed aluminum. You can see some of the texture here on the function keys to either side of the joystick. While some of the internal surfaces of the slide here are made of plastic, the back plate that covers the battery is actually a solid piece of aluminum and you can see the texturing here in the video. Since we're staring at the back of the phone, I'll also take the time to show you the 2 megapixel camera as well as the vanity mirror and flash. On the left side of the phone, you'll see the hatch for the micro SD card as well as the hatch that covers the power port and adapter for headphones. Nothing along the bottom. And on the right side of the phone is a camera shutter release button, an application key, and the volume toggle slash camera zoom keys. On the front of the phone is this joystick. This joystick is used for navigating around the menus. We have to say that in our time with the Shine, we found the joystick to be a little frustrating to use. Opening up the Shine is fairly simple and requires very little pressure. It pops up nicely and has a solid feel to it. The keypad, which we'll zoom in here on, also has the brushed aluminum surfacing, but you can tell the layout and design and feel of these keys is going to be very similar to that of a Motorola Razor. In fact, the phone has a little bit of a chin similar to the Razor as well. In pressing these keys, they do feel quite similar. One thing about the Shine is that in order to turn the phone on or off, you have to use this button here. So you have to open the Shine to turn it on. Overall though, the hardware feels nice, it's comfortable in your hand, and the metal surfaces are a nice touch. The menu system on the Shine is fairly straightforward and easy to use. Tapping the left function key brings you into the main menu, which you can see is a standard grid layout. Using the joystick, you can bounce around to all the different selections in the menu, or you can use the corresponding keys in the keypad. Let's take a look at the recent calls and see uh, what we've dialed recently. Looks like we called Amtrak. So uh, calling Amtrak, we'll see what, uh, see what it looks like in an in-call situation on the LG Shine. You can see here this little animated menu. And we can turn the speakerphone on or off simply by tapping the button. So here's what we get when we're in a call with the LG Shine. Of course, the LG Shine has a music player which can be accessed here from the main menu. Jumping in, it takes a few clicks to get to your songs, but you can get to them. Offers only a few options in the music player itself, but otherwise it's fairly usable. And of course, the Shine offers access to the mobile web. We can, uh, let's go to one of our bookmarks and we'll go to uh, good old Google. See how quickly this loads. Now keep in mind the Shine does have 3G capabilities, but here in my basement, unfortunately, we only have an edge signal. Uh, in fact, we may only have a GPRS signal, but uh, you can see the page still loaded fairly quickly with three bars of service. In order to take pictures with the Shine, the phone wants you to hold it sideways. So tip it over, push the camera button to initiate the camera, hit take photo and you can see here you have to hold it sideways for taking pictures now you can capture an image by pushing in here or by pushing the shutter release button up here and of course using the buttons up here will help you zoom in and out as long as you don't have the resolution set too high as far as cameras go on phones this is a fairly capable one and it does let you alter a number of different options while in the shooting mode and all the LG Shine offers a solid feature set for a mid-range phone. Adding 3G data to the mix is a nice touch as long as you can find 3G coverage. It also offers stereo Bluetooth for wireless headphone playback. But the Shine is a stylish slider that has good feature set and is a reasonable price point.